Okay, so here's where we left off, building our own 3D truss. And so uh, your assignment is to follow along. If you need to refer back to the uh, previous two videos, please do so. Um, but I want you to follow along and build this thing step by step from scratch. Um, <clears throat> feel free to use this Rhino file to start off with. It already has the curves if you'd like. Um, as well, um, as I, well, this, not only will this Rhino uh, file uh, available to you, but uh, this Grasshopper file is available for you as well. I, I'm less interested in you like dreaming all this stuff up from scratch, but more of being able to follow along, understand what's happening, and then actually execute it. Um, so if you need to refer back to in the file itself for something, um, feel free. Um, you know, again, as a reminder, you know, if you're interested in what's going on here, you can always hold your cursor over inputs and outputs, and it gives you a little box showing you what's, what's coming out or what's being plugged in, okay? And, of course, you can always play around and see what happens, right? So you can um, adjust these things and, and uh, uh, you know, play around with it, so to say, to sort of better understand what's actually happening. Make sure these are set to false. Yeah, there we go. All right, so um, not only do I want you to build this from scratch, but then afterwards I want you to build sort of three custom trusses. All right, so using this, what I want you to do is draw your own curves in Rhino, okay? And uh, there's several different ways you can do this. All right, you can I'm just drawing in perspective view, and these things are planar on the x, y axis. I'm going to go ahead and close Grasshopper for a minute so you can see what I'm doing. But I, of course, can move these around, adjust them, um, and let me open up perspective view just a little bigger here. Okay. Um, a couple things to remember with curves, right? They're made up of points. I can turn those points on at any time, right? And then I can click on those points and begin to sculpt the, the curve accordingly, right? So um, if I wanted these to not maybe be so planar and, and plain and boring, um, you know, I could start to adjust some of these points in space here a little better, right? And then when I right-click on that tool, it toggles the points off, right? And so once I have my recipe, Let's see here. Once I have my recipe, I misspelled grasshopper. That's not helpful. Type in grasshopper and bring this up. Again, I've just changed my ingredients, but I just need to right click, set one curve, and I can select these new curves that I've made. Whoa, that's kind of weird. And that one, and of course, this one, I wanna select the new curve, right? I can make virtually any truss I want. And of course, as I start to move these curves around, right, everything updates because, you know, I change this curve, right? It's referenced here as the starting ingredient, and then all the changes move from left to right to the file. So you can see um, some of these might be cleaner than others. Or... <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh, pardon me. Sneeze is not fun, but... Uh... Okay, and so I can begin to uh, make my own three-dimensional trusses. Of course, some of these are better looking than others. Yeah. Just move this stuff around. All right. Okay, and so um, I want you to make three variations of the sort of three-dimensional truss, either by changing the ingredients and or changing um, some of the variables. And, uh, and then take, again, just quick screen capture. Um, again, view, capture, to file works. Uh, save as JPEG. You'll turn those into a Google form that I send you. And I uh, just, just want to double check and see that everybody's, you know, this is all working for everybody. See where everybody's at. Make sure things are making sense. Hopefully things are clicking. Um, between the explanation and then the demonstration and then having you repeat it by doing it yourself. Um, I mean, that's the goal is, is that, uh, you know, um, I'm not just going to throw you in the deep end of the pool, but you, you sort of wade in and, and then we get deeper and deeper and deeper and um, don't worry, at the end of the day, you'll be doing freestyle or something. Okay, so uh, I think that's probably it, but uh, keep an eye out for any more videos. And um, anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys do. Um, 
and uh, hopefully these uh, these videos are good enough uh, uh, to to serve you uh, while I while I'm traveling on on business. So uh, look forward to seeing you all when I get back and seeing what you guys have produced. Take care.